hey guys welcome back to the channel and in the last video we added some details to this model and today we are going to add some more and complete it so let's start with a cube and bring it out we are going to create some metal plates for the support on this part so go to front view and place it here like this and then scale it Now go to edge mode and again select all these edges and bevel. Increase one segment and decrease the fraction to 0.35. Now go to vertex mode and select all these vertices. Bring them down a little bit to align with this plate. Now let's copy this, go to front view and create a duplicate and place this one on this side like this. Now let's take a torus bring it out and rotate this decrease the radius and the section radius place it on this plate Go to right view and align it with this box we just created. Now create another torus and bring it out again decrease the radius and section radius rotate it go to front view rotate it like this and place it inside this other torus
now select these two rings and create a duplicate and place them on this side on this plate now you can select all of them and let's combine for now create a duplicate go to top view and place the pivot in the center of the grid then open your channel box and in the scale z add minus one to place it on the other side now we need to add a few more details so let's start with deleting these wheels Now select this wheel and go to the face mode. Select all these faces and duplicate. Now select the faces we just duplicated and extrude. To 0 0.05. Go to edge mode and select all these edges. and bevel increase one segment and fraction to 0 0.4 now again create a duplicate and go to right view then change the pivot to the center of the grid like this go to your channel box and add minus 1 to scale y now select both these wheels and the cylinder create another duplicate and place it on the back Now let's add one more detail. Take a cylinder and bring it out. Rotate it. Go to front view and pull it up then decrease the radius to 0 0.07. Now go to top view and face mode, select all these faces and delete. Go to edge mode and select all these edges. Then press ctrl E to extrude, then R to scale. Now go to face mode and select all these faces and delete. Now go to edge mode again and select all these edges. Scale them pull them down like this change the pivot to the center and extrude add some thickness to 0 0.025 and place it on the top of this metal plate Go to front view and go to vertex mode. Select all these vertices. Press R and scale them down a little bit. Go to edge mode and select all these edges. then bevel and increase one segment 
decrease the fraction to 0 0.4. Now create a duplicate and place it on the other side. Now go to front view. And go to create. And if you are using the Maya 2022. Then you can watch my tutorial on how to use the sweep mesh tool. So let's go to create and take curve tool select this cv curve or ep curve then create curves like this go to top view and add a curve here like this go to control vertex and select all these vertices place them here and these ones on the top of this motor Now leave it for now and take another cylinder, bring it out and rotate it, go to front view and place this cylinder inside this one. Now decrease the radius. and height to 0 0.2 now again go to edge mode and select all these edges and bevel increase the segments now select this curve and Go to create then select this sweep mesh tool and increase the precision to 90 and scale down the profile to 0 0.03. or maybe 0 0.02 and increase the precision a little bit more to 100% and optimize now go to your outliner and select this curve and go to control vertex go to top view and select this vertex place it like this adjust it a little bit
now go to object mode and select this mesh then go to edit delete by type history and you can delete this curve now now go to top view and create a duplicate go to your channel box and in your scale z add minus one now select both of them and combine now go to face mode and delete all these faces go to edge mode and select all these edges and then bridge and add one division go to edge mode select this edge and push it out a little bit like this and go to vertex mode select all these vertices press b to enable the soft selection and decrease its radius press b and middle mouse button like this now select the cylinder and copy it and place it this side like this so we have added all the necessary details and completed this model so that's it for today and in the next video we are going to unwrap this model and i hope you like this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel and follow me on the instagram you'll find the links in the description you can also join my discord channel and if you have any issue regarding any or anything else related to modeling or texturing then you can ask your questions in discord and i'll see you in the next video till then thank you for watching